it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be over a hundred degrees today. to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything on the Goldwing. DIY tips and tricks, motor vlogs, and of course, those accessory installation and review videos. If you are a passionate Honda Goldwing enthusiast, or if you just like watching somebody who is, you're in the right place. So why not click on that little subscribe button down below and if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Now today is a special day. I'm on my way to Fort Worth, Texas to celebrate my 25th anniversary with Ricky, my better half. You could call her Cruise Girl if you want. But we've been together, we met 25 years ago today. We've been together 25 years. And it's been uh, an amazing journey. We've literally traveled all over the world together. Been in many, many countries several times. So we have a pretty incredible story. And we're looking forward to the next 25 years. So I'm on my way to Fort Worth. It's about 89 degrees right now. Fortunately, it's not very humid. And it's uh, actually a pretty decent day. Not too windy, but it's gonna get real hot. We know summertime is now finally here because when I got up this morning to ride the bike to have coffee, it was 85 degrees at 5.30 this morning. Unbelievable. So summer is definitely here. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be over 100 degrees today in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But I'd like to continue my series of videos talking about motorcycle safety. And before I get into that, I want you to know the irony is not lost on me that I'm talking about motorcycle safety while motor vlogging. All right, here comes a Lamborghini. Kind of an interesting paint job. So what I was gonna say is the irony of talking about safety while motor vlogging is not lost on me because motor vlogging is certainly not safe simply because it's a distraction. And anything that's a distraction when you're on a motorcycle is not safe. So I don't usually like to motor vlog in this type of situation because I don't feel comfortable riding the motorcycle over 70 miles an hour in town. And most people here, even though the speed limit is 70, most people drive 80 to 85 miles an hour. So I try to stay in the slow lane and just let them go on by. But my question to you today is, is the Goldwing the safest motorcycle you can ride? And I'm gonna tell you why I think the Goldwing is perhaps one of, if not the safest motorcycle you can own and ride. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the brakes. Now the 2018 and 2019 models come standard with ABS brakes. Before that, you had an option for ABS brakes. In fact, I think ABS brakes are probably the most important safety feature you can have on a motorcycle. 
Now, some of you might want to know what are ABS brakes. You probably already have these in your car. And basically, they help to prevent the wheels or tires from slipping or skidding on wet pavement or any pavement, really. It's anti-lock brakes. So they prevent your tires from locking up and skidding. Now, I bought my 2007 Goldwing simply because I wanted anti-lock brakes. That's the only reason I bought it. I was going to be touring with my girlfriend, with Ricky, and I did not want to be pulling a trailer without anti-lock brakes. Pulling a trailer is dangerous enough. And we did one road trip to the Grand Canyon on my 2005 Goldwing, which did not have anti-lock brakes. And I was constantly concerned about hard braking. If I needed to brake hard, would I be able to prevent going into a skid while pulling that trailer? So I think anti-lock brakes are an important safety feature, and I'm glad that Honda chose to put these on the new Goldwing. And besides anti-lock brakes, just the Goldwing brakes in general are extremely good. They're probably some of the best brakes I've seen on any motorcycle. This motorcycle will stop very, very well. The next thing that I consider a safety feature is the lighting of the Goldwing, the LED lights. Now, this Goldwing, I don't think, has as good a lighting package from a safety perspective as the previous Goldwing. The previous Goldwing was much more visible from the rear because you had the lights in the trunk. And on this Goldwing, the lights are down low. So that's why I added the luggage rack so I could have the spoiler light or actually the under rack light to give that third lighting option on the trunk, which I think is very important. I just think the lights on the saddlebags on this bike are too low. But the LED headlights are very good. However, during the daytime, they're really not that visible unless you have on the high beams. So I try to ride around during the day with the high beams on. Now once I get my headlight modulators installed, I probably won't do that anymore, obviously. Because I, I like to use the modulators kind of sparingly. The other safety feature this motorcycle has, it has very good handling. This is, for a large motorcycle, this motorcycle handles very well. It's very easy to handle. It's very nimble. And part of that is because of the low center of gravity, which is a result of that six cylinder opposed engine. It sits down very low in the frame. And it gives this bike incredible handling characteristics. So handling is an important safety feature. And even though it may not be obvious, I think the comfort of the Goldwing is a safety feature. And this is, of course, all Goldwings have always been known for long distance comfort, but it's just a comfortable motorcycle to ride. But overall, the motorcycle is very comfortable, and comfort means less fatigue. And I think fatigue is a real hindrance to safety on a motorcycle. Now there's other things that aren't so obvious, like comfort. For example, the electric windshield. Again, that's a comfort item, but I think it adds to the safety because the more comfortable I am, I think the safer I am. They just did a really good job of making this motorcycle as safe as possible. Honda Selectable Torque Control. And I can't find anything to tell me that it's actually 
traction control. And I don't, so I, I can't make that claim. But when you read the description of what this HSTC is supposed to do, it sounds a lot like traction control. I think, from what I read from Honda's website, if the system detects that your wheels are slipping, I'm assuming it's the rear wheel, that the system will intervene and it will modify the throttle input and maybe a couple of fuel injection to prevent that slippage from occurring or to mitigate that. Now, that to me is not exactly how most traction controls on a motorcycle work. Usually they interrupt the spark of the engine or they have other ways of intervening. So, and Honda doesn't really talk much about this. They don't really make a big deal out of this HSTC. So I don't really know why they don't make a big deal out of it. Or maybe it's not that incredible, but it's there. It's available on all the 2018, 2019 Tour models. It's not available on the Goldwing, the regular Goldwing. And of course, another safety feature are the ride modes. This motorcycle has a specific mode just for rain. And what that does is if you're riding in the rain, it modifies the throttle response, the suspension, and the power delivery to make the motorcycle less likely to skid under power when you're riding in the rain. So there are quite a few safety features built into this 2018 Goldwing. And of course, nothing can overcome an unsafe rider. You still have to ride, you know, using common sense. But I think this could be one of the safest motorcycles ever built and one of the safest motorcycles you could ride. Now, if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd give it a big thumbs up. I want to remind you that we're having the best promotion we've ever offered on our 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos. Check them out on my website or using the link in the description of this video. And basically, you need to use promo code AUGUST when you order your videos through Vimeo.com. And in addition to receiving the discount price, you're also going to receive one of our new reflective stickers, which have been super popular. I'm shocked how many people have ordered these reflective stickers. And I'll put a link in the description of the video where you can order the stickers too, and maybe you already have the videos. But if you buy the videos using promo code AUGUST and register on our website, we will send you one of these reflective stickers for free. And as a reminder, if you purchased the videos within the last couple of weeks before the promotion started, uh, you may qualify for a rebate in case you didn't get the promotion price. So send me an email and uh, we'll basically you'll need to register and you'll need to send me your proof of purchase from Vimeo and we'll make sure to get a, a rebate out to you and we'll give you the sticker too. So thanks again for joining us today on Cruise Man's Garage. Like I said, I'm on my way to Fort Worth and I uh, will see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.